The family of 26 year old Kenneth Dennis, the man his family says was shot and killed by Spokane police early Sunday morning, say he would never hurt anybody, much less a member of law enforcement. Washington State Patrol investigators say Spokane police were called to the 5700 block of Elgin on a domestic violence call at four yesterday morning and ended up shooting a man armed with a knife. Investigators are not releasing details about what led up to the shooting. KXLY 4's Tori Brunetti interviewed the man's family, and Tori, the family is very angry. Yeah, they are angry, and they are making some strong accusations. The family of Kenneth Dennis says police just kicked in the door unannounced and shot him three times in the chest. And it happened so fast. Crystal Barrett says her fiancé, Kenneth Dennis, asked her friend to call police early Sunday morning because Barrett was threatening to leave their home. She says Dennis was upset and had grabbed a large kitchen knife and set it on the fireplace. He said that if he couldn't be with his family, that he didn't want to live. She says after a while, the fight ended and things started to calm down. After that, we sat down on the couch with our kids. He was telling them how much he loved them and how sorry he was that we were fighting. The couple has a two-year-old girl and three-year-old boy who were home during the fight. The kids were also home when police got to the house. The next thing I know, the cops kicked in the door. I stepped back. Kenny reached for the knife and they shot him. And I started screaming, telling them to stop. And my kids were in the house. Barrett says her two-year-old daughter saw police fire the first shot. My daughter ran into the kitchen. And they shot him two more times. Barrett and Dennis's family says even if Dennis did grab the knife, he would never have tried to stab a police officer. Yeah, he grabbed a knife because he didn't know it was the cops. It could have been some random stranger trying to come, you know, hurt his family. And we need to mention that this is just one side of the story. We are told investigators have not formally interviewed the Spokane police officers involved. Investigators released a timeline today that shows shots fired within the first five to ten minutes of the first officer getting to the house. On the Sky Deck, Tori Brunetti, KXLY4 HD News. Tori, thanks. And Kenneth Dennis's mom and siblings say they could never describe him as a violent person. His family says he was a happy guy who loved the outdoors, sports, and most importantly, his family. He looked at life like his fiance and his kids was, was his world. Dennis's family says they are still in shock and hope eventually the truth of what happened that morning will come out. Well, this now makes five deadly shootings in the last six months. In Hilliard, an officer shot James Broom in front of the Special K bar in early December when he pointed a gun at his friend and wouldn't put it down. Broom was an ex-soldier and left behind one child. On November 12th, six police officers shot and killed 29 year old Ethan Corporal near Indiana and Monroe in Spokane. Witnesses say he shot at a nearby home, then started running with that shotgun. October 24th, Spokane Valley officers shot and killed 50 year old Quentin Dodd in the middle of the road. Investigators say Dodd came at them with a crudely designed knife. The most widely publicized were the deaths of Spokane Valley Pastor Scott Creech. Deputy Brian Herzl shot Creech outside his home and business on August 25th while responding to reports of a prowler.